raising the bar. A train full of Christchurch lawyers has just chugged into the Dunedin railway station. The legal professionals hired the Silverfern Railcar to travel to this year's National Family Law Conference, being held locally for the first time. It's normally held in the biggest centres, so we're very excited to be able to host it in Dunedin this year. The New Zealand Law Society's two-day conference is being attended by about 350 family lawyers and judges. They'll be hearing from international keynote speakers and discussing ways to improve the country's family law system. The government decided to take some resources out of the system, about $30 million, so it's, it's a system where we have to do the same thing with, with less resources and we want this conference to be positive about that because we can't cry over spilt milk, uh, we just have to be better at what we do. Delegates will also be learning about how technology can make family law easier and faster for all involved, especially clients. And there's a special focus on the relationship between Australian and New Zealand law. Because of course a lot of our families in New Zealand travel to Australia and um, vice versa. Conveners say family law covers just about every aspect of society, so the conference is packed with a wide range of sessions. Delegates are hoping their work in the city this week will lead to better outcomes in the courtroom. The conference is a fantastic way for us to get together, um, to take inspiration and instruction and encouragement from one another with um, a shared goal of serving um, families better. And in that respect, this local event is set to have a long-lasting impact nationwide. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.